Jared Patterson joins us now. Welcome to National Report. Uh, Jared, please tell us about the bill that you're proposing. Well, thank you for having me. Look, we've got a health epidemic in this country, and it's not about a virus coming from China. This is about self-harm and suicide rates amongst young people like we've never seen in the history of our nation. And here in Texas, we're going to lead on this issue. We're going to fight to protect kids uh, against these social media platforms who should be the ones implementing these policies to protect young people and their users. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, no doubt, you know, social media has an impact on every one of its users, right? You think of adults who are on the apps That's and right. they're impacted by what they see or ideal, you know, looks or body standards out there. And they might feel uh, upset by that. But imagine, you know, a 13 year old girl who would also be seeing That's that. Right. So, so I get where it's coming from. Uh, the Texas Public Policy Foundation had this to say. The harm social media poses to minors are demonstrable, not just in the internal research from the very social media companies that create these addictive products, but in the skyrocketing depression, anxiety and even suicide rates we're seeing. Uh, afflict children. So I, I'm, I'm guessing, State Rep, that's also sort of the motivation as to why uh, you're so passionate about this. But let's talk realistic. You know, is it, quite frankly, you know, to eliminate social media ac uh, access for, for kids under 18? You know, do you really see this happening? I do. I do. I think that we're going to have broad bipartisan support to protect our kids in Texas. I think when you look at the statistics, they're alarming. You know, 40 percent of girls uh, on Instagram have a worse image of their bodies. Uh, you know, Wall Street Journal studies said uh, signed up on TikTok as a 13 year old. They were showed 569 videos glorifying drug use, including cocaine and meth, mm -hmm. promotional videos about online sale of drugs, and more than 100 videos from accounts re uh, recommending paid pornography sites. This is a big, big issue. And, you know, it's not unheard of. You know, we government always lags technology, government always lags industry. Uh, but when we see the dire shape that our young people are in, um, you know, we have to take action for that. Yeah. Our my number one priority as legislators to protect the rights of those that I represent. My number two is to protect their health and safety. And so that's what we're going to do in Texas this next year. Yeah, and I should point out, usually it's 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 the adults who are behaving badly on social media and the impact that that has on kids as well. Um, uh, state Rep, the, uh, the Senate just passed legislation in your state to ban TikTok from U.S. government devices um, in a move designed to limit perceived information security risks from stemming from the social media app, which is linked to communist China. Uh, what are your thoughts on TikTok, and should the state of Texas ban the use of TikTok generally? Well, like, like many other issues, Governor Abbott has led on this, uh, you know, recently calling for, you know, any state agency device to not have TikTok downloaded on it. The amount of data that TikTok collects on its users, not only the photos and videos that you upload to their product, uh, but all uh, on your device, uh, in, including keystrokes, uh, locations uh, that you may be, a host of, of uh, data that they collect that is dangerous for our national security, it's dangerous for the security of the state of Texas, and it's dangerous for every single user uh, that uses the product. And you know, I think it's interesting that we call them users on social media uh, when you look at how addicting it is uh, and similar to the way that drugs yeah. are pushed on our kids as well. Yeah, yeah I just, just wanted to ask, uh, how do you sort of push this plan forward when you've got folks who say, you know, I don't want the government telling me what I should do on my iPhone. I don't want them to say what I can and can't do on the internet or create a profile or not. Yeah, that's a great question. Look, I'm the fifth most conservative member of the Texas House, and I believe in parental rights. I've been fighting for them really for the last year as it relates to sexually explicit materials in schools. But this is a different deal. We've got to figure out where the line is. We've got to start protecting kids. Look, we believe that every American has the right to keep and bear arms, but we don't allow eight-year-olds to go buy handguns. Right. Uh, you know, this is there are common sense measures that we can take to protect people. Uh, namely those most vulnerable against us. No yeah. child has the wherewithal to agree to a user agreement 
that sends all of their personal identif uh, identifying right. information to these companies. Yeah, absolutely. I need to pivot with you, and I've only got about 60 seconds left with you. Uh, but there was a drag queen Christmas event in Austin, Texas. We've seen a number of these. These have been billed as safe for kids. Take a look at the picture uh, that was posted on Twitter. The post reads, a preview of what's on display at the drag queen Christmas in Austin. Show being marketed as family-friendly and open to all ages. Uh, Mr. Patterson, why is this still legal in the state of Texas, and what is the state legislature going to do about uh, the exploitation uh, and exposure of children to this type of material? Well, the hardest thing about being a legislator in 2022 America is writing things down and making them illegal, which used to be common sense when the adults were in charge. I thought a bill to make any drag show uh, requirement to be a sexually oriented business, which would limit children's access to it and a host of other uh, regulations that come along with that. If a business wants to have a drag show, they should be labeled as a sexually oriented business in the state of Texas. And you think that'll pass? We're going to give it every shot that we've got this next session. We start January 10th and then the rubber meets the road. All right. All right. We'll watch the bill. We'll see That's what happens. Right. Texas State Rep. Thank Jared. You.